Monday evening, I'm Brett Edwards. I'm Marisa Vedra. We begin this hour 18 with two startling facts. One, the number of carjackings reported in Chicago more than doubled last year. And two, three weeks into the new year, they're showing no signs of slowing down. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is continuing our push for answers on this. And the most important question tonight is why? This residential block in Bucktown was the scene of one of many armed carjackings in Chicago over the weekend. And residents here tell me the problem simply cannot get any worse. The mail states that the vehicle was stolen at gunpoint. It's one scene of at least four confirmed carjackings in the Bucktown Wicker Park area over the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, the Bucktown Community a... Organization it's President Steve fact. Jensen tells me that while carjackings have been on the rise over the past year. The level of frustration is something I've not seen before. It's bad, but now it's worse than bad. While the area's aldermen have taken heat on social media, Jensen believes they're working hard and the ire is misdirected. There are no consequences to putting a gun in someone's ear, stealing their car, and joyriding around for three hours. Or at least not severe enough, in, in your opinion. Not severe enough at all, unfortunately. And that's what's going to have to change. By the numbers, Bucktown and Wicker Park aren't even the hardest hit. Bridgeport and Albany Park have seen the largest year-over-year -year jumps. Garfield Park saw the highest number of carjackings in 2020, 117 compared to just 53 in 2019. Female carjacking on point. The U.S. Department of Justice does have the ability to charge some cases federally and announced the expansion of a local federal partnership in July. But today, the Northern District was unable to give us hard numbers for cases they've charged so far due to the federal holiday. But it's something the city's Public Safety Committee will be discussing on Friday, where they've asked representatives from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office and the Cook County Circuit Court to appear and answer those important questions. Aggravated carjackings are punishable by 6 to 30 years in prison in the state of Illinois, but the bar for prosecutors to prove it is very high. In Bucktown, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. As Megan mentioned, just a few neighborhoods seeing a spike, but we'll also, we've made it easy for you to check it out. Check out your neighborhood. Just head to CBSChicago.com and you'll find it right on the homepage.